I mean, we need grocery stores. I mean, everywhere you look, you see a liquor store. Why you got to take it to grocery stores? Close down the liquor stores. The flow of customers was brisk on Kroger's last day of business. The sign on the front of the building had already come down ahead of the store's official closing. Previous protests to keep the store open were not enough to save it. On a broader scale, you know, this is the fifth grocery store to leave the urban services area. And so, you know, we've been talking about a food desert for the last, you know, two or three years, and this really adds to it. For locals, Kroger's departure means added difficulty reaching fresh food. We're going to have to travel farther. I mean, thank God I got a vehicle, but say, for instance, those that don't have a vehicle, I mean, it's sad. The store was a staple for many senior citizens living in nearby high rises, as well as people in wheelchairs. I do have TARC 3, a handicap bus, but you can't get much back on a wheelchair. That's why this place was so handy for me. Officials say Kroger will offer a shuttle service to travel to the Goss Avenue location, but people we talked to say they just wish Kroger could have stayed here. Um, I wish they could have got things right and stayed another 5, 10, 20 years, because I've still been coming here. And representatives with Save-A-Lot are expected to meet with city leaders next week to look at a possible solution to fill the void. Reporting live, Matthew Rand, WLKY News.